Hi everybody. Lecture 3, a rook ending a pawn down, which we need to save. In contrast with lecture 2, in which the attacking player had a bishop's pawn, here he has an, a knight's pawn. So let's just realise why this makes a difference. Now, because everything is shifted to the left, if we're looking from black's perspective, the defender's perspective, we see that white cannot outf outflank black, since rook h7 does not threaten a uh, check on h8, as it would if the king won f8 and the pawn won f5. So that's the point, and because of that, we can stay passive. Now this might seem a bit weird because in rook endings it's, it's famously said that you have to keep active and you have to attack with checks and a lot of play. Well here I want you to stay as passive as possible and that's how you draw this endgame. Obviously we don't want to bring our rook off the back rank since there is a threat of checkmate. So with, we keep our rook here and I'll just show you if it's white to play he might try rook h7. Well that does nothing. Then we play rook a8. And if he wants to get active, then that's a sure way to lose. Rook a6 check, and thank you much, you just ruined a good endgame. Okay? So he can't play that, and otherwise he has nothing better to do than retreat. So, returning back to this kind of position, what other opportunities are there? Well, um, after we pass with rook c8, then rook g7 check, and we have to make a decision. But it's a very simple decision, okay? We want to stay to the corner. This is crucial. I, I'll highlight that. Point is that now, this doesn't help white. So, with our king on in the corner, white cannot outflank us. And that's why the passive defence, as it is frequently called, uh, works. So this is a passive defence. You need to keep your king to the very edge, where it cannot be outflanked. And you need to keep your rook to the back. So, returning... Anything else? Well, that's the real problem for white. There are no other um, alternatives. I mean, just demonstrating, if, if uh, after rook c8, g7, then rook c6 check, king g5, and rook a6. Thank you much, I'll take a draw. Simply, we can at attack this pawn, and white cannot pass uh, over the third rank. Okay, thank you much, I'll leave it there. And just to reiterate, from the initial position, we want to play a passing move. So, rook c6, excuse me, rook c8, and you're sorted. Thank you much, people out signing off, saying good luck with your rook endgames, end and I'll see you in lecture four.